Hello everyone, my name is Abhinav and I'm working as a BMS Algorithm Development Engineer at Decibus Lab. In this video, we will explore what exactly is meant by capacity fading in determinant cells. We will take a look at a graph and try to understand how exactly capacity fades over cyclonic. So capacity fading is a phenomenon that can occur either during storage of the cell or during repeated usage of the cell. So storage is basically when the cell is not under use and it is stored completely disconnected from all existing load components or any electronic components. And under load means that the cell is under repeated usage, either repeated charging and repeated discharging or half charging and half discharging. So depending upon the usage situation, the cell can be classified as cyclic aging, continuous cyclic aging or under intermittent usage. So due to any of these conditions, the cell can experience degradation. And many components that are listed, as you can see over here, electrodes, electrolytes, current connector, the electrode material, the binding material, the additive layers, all of these can undergo continuous degradation and contribute to what is called as capacity fading. So capacity fading is a situation in which there is permanent and gradual loss of capacity of the cell that can occur, as we have seen before, either due to storage or due to cyclic usage. So, here you can see a graph that corresponds to capacity fading of the cell over repeated usage. So, you can see that at 100% capacity or basically in very fresh condition, that is at zero cycle, you can see that almost 100% of the capacity is available. And as and when the cycle, cycle number goes on increasing and as and when the cell goes on getting used more and more, you can see that the available capacity of the cell goes on decreasing more and more. So the amount of time that it can be used for, over, as in when the cell goes on being utilized more and more, goes on decreasing. So you can see here, for the second number of 1 was 1500, it has come up to with this around 3000 seconds or a little bit lesser. And as in when again, more and more usage goes on decreasing the capacity and permanent loss is end endured. So what are all the factors that contribute to capacity fading? So first and foremost, as we've seen, is cycle count. So higher the number of cycle count or higher the number of cycles that the cell has experienced, the more the capacity fade. Okay. So this is uh, once again dependent on how many number of cycles, that is number of charging and discharging cycles that has uh, been completed by a cell. Then coming to thermal conditions, this is more along the lines of operating conditions. So, again coming to extremities, when we are having very high or very low temperatures, again, there can be rapid thermal degradation of the electrodes and the internal components. So, on this, if the cell is utilized between 15 to around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, the cell performs in optimal condition. But going outside these temperatures, such as going up to 55 or 60, or coming lower, like 0 or minus 10 degrees Celsius, can cause the cell to once again start to rapidly degrade. So, this can once again contribute to capacity feeding. Also, one of the most important factors is charging rate. So the faster the, the cell is charged or faster the battery is charged, the more the cell starts to lose the capacity. Basically, its ability to store charge starts to decrease and therefore leading to permanent loss in capacity. Then coming to depth of discharge. Depth of discharge is basically the extent to which the cell has been discharged. So a very high depth of discharge means the cell has been depleted a lot. A low or a shallow depth of discharge means the cell has been utilized less. So basically, if the cell has been discharged more, that means there is more wear of internal components, more wear of the wear of electrodes, more wear of electrolyte, and therefore that contributes to working higher and much more faster capacity fail. A lower depth of discharge would mean that the cell is being utilized less, and therefore that means capacity fading is much lesser. So these are all the co contributing factors to capacity fading in a particular cell. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video was useful.